Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the exciting world of Endeavor OS once again, exploring the latest release, Galileo. The Endeavor OS team has been hard at work, making some noteworthy changes to streamline the user experience. Let's get started. The Galileo release from Endeavor OS brings a fresh perspective to the Arch Linux-based distribution. The team's primary focus has been on optimizing the workflow, ensuring that the system remains rolling while accommodating the day-to-day -day challenges of the development team. A significant change in Galileo is the replacement of XFCE with KDE Plasma as the default live environment and on the offline install option. The team cites a more native experience for developers with the Calamares installer. However, for those who prefer XFC theming, worry not, it's still available post-installation through the Welcome app. Unfortunately, the beloved community additions, including Sway, Qtile, BSPWM, Openbox, and Worm, are no longer available through the Calamares installer. With most original developers moving on, the core team had to make tough decisions to ensure the project's progression. However, these additions can still be installed manually via the GitHub page. The Galileo release introduces several enhancements and adjustments, including stronger Lux2 encryption when choosing system boot and a restructure of the package selection screen for better clarity. The EFI partition permissions have been made more strict to avoid issues, especially with dual boot installations with Windows. Galileo brings changes to the installation process, limiting the ability to install more than one desktop environment during the installation. The Calamares package selection screen has been reorganized for better user understanding. The FSTAB file is now improved, avoiding extraneous defaults and options. See Linux warnings are removed during installation to prevent confusion, and there's no longer an unused Lux key file with systemed boot. To enhance system stability and security, Dracut-related packages are added to hold PKG to avoid inadvertent removal, and a correct German keyboard layout is chosen by default, resolving previous issues with encryption phrases. Galileo also introduces improved mirror options around the world and supports new options in Reflector Simple and Reflector Bash completion. Several Endeavor OS apps have received updates, with support for KDE in the installer and the installed system. Language selection is now available in the installer, and the icons across various apps have been streamlined for a more cohesive visual experience. While Galileo addresses many common bugs, there's one remaining, albeit uncommon, bug. Related to Calamares not providing a warning when selecting empty unpartitioned space or unsupported file system partitions during the automated install option. The team recommends using the partition manager in the welcome app before installing the system or opting for manual partitioning in Calamares if in doubt. And there you have it, the Galileo release from Endeavor OS, slimmer, more streamlined, but definitely propelling the project forward. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.